The Tragic Tale of Freddy Spaghetti By Becky Pinninger Once upon a time in a place called New York There lived a boy who did love his fork The boy's first name, but of course, was Freddy And don't you know his last name was Spaghetti It's hard to believe, but trust me, it's so He carried that fork wherever he'd go To the shop, to school and even to bed Where he kept it under his pillow, under his head his mother would shout, Oh Freddy, my dear! You've carried that thing around for a year! And Freddy would shrug and in his pocket it stayed! Mr. Spaghetti shook his head, what a monster we made! When Freddy was a boy, just five years old! He hated the pasta! Thought it looked just like mold! His mama and papa begged him to try! But little Freddy throw his fork and just cry! But on one fateful day when he frisbeed his plate! One noodle flew backwards! One noodle he ate! It was then that his parents' tears did stop! For Freddy ate 10 platefuls and licked the last drop! So each night since then Freddy demanded a dish! And each night his mama fulfilled his wish! He grew bigger and fatter and wore stained overalls! So that in each pocket he could fit 3 meatballs! He carried the sauce in a wee fanny pack! And he stored the noodles in a tiny backpack! Whenever he was hungry he swirled up the two. I think I even saw him make a bowl from his shoe. So one day our dear Freddy crosses the street. And sits down in traffic for a quick bite to eat. It was terrible, you see. Horrible, I say. For little Freddy Spaghetti got run over that day. He was bruised and broken and wore a full body cast. But his family was happy that he'd recover quite fast. So that ends the tale of Freddy Spaghetti. Time to order lunch! The spaghetti is ready! Once again, thanks for taking interest in Chronica Read. As you know, sharing is caring, be sure to tell all your friends and family. Hit the like button, and don't forget to subscribe to get the latest upload of classic audiobooks along with new book samples. Till we meet again. Bye.